We're looking here at a typical garden CAD landscape design. It happens to be a design for the rear of a garden behind a house, so the house is in this area here. But for the moment, let's concentrate on the interface. The black area is where you construct your model. It's a full-size model of this design. You may be able to see over on the right-hand side a plant schedule is there. And as we roll the wheel of the mouse away from us, we can magnify any part of the drawing. If we hold the wheel of the mouse down, we can pan the drawing in any direction we want. Nothing is selected at the moment. If we right click, we can go or select zoom extents and that shows us the whole drawing. We could right click and say zoom a window if we were interested say in this zone through here in a, a garden bed to the left of the lawned area. When an object is selected and let's pick this one and you right click you get a different menu. This is the menu you use when say you want to copy an object you simply mark a point in the middle and stamp copies of that symbol. I'll put one out here in the lawn so that you can see it relatively easily. If you select an entity and pick scale, again you can just click in the middle and dynamically scale the symbol up. So GardenCAD is designed to be mouse driven left or right mouse button to do various things to your design, create and edit your design and the wheel is used to either zoom in or out and to pan across. So let's zoom extents and see the whole drawing. You have all the tools that you would expect in a CAD program. For the sake of argument we could draw a three point arc down here like so. So in goes our arc. I'll roll in on the arc so that we can see it pan across. If I select the arc you can see it's got some control points in it. I can even move the arc in that way or change its end point and bend things around. So all of the draw entities, the draw primitives they're called, are there. The circle diameter, click and click, draw circle three points on the circumference of a circle and in it goes. Lots of different options including the option to put in text. If you want to label something you just click the text tool, click the start point, indicate a height, hit the enter key, type in text, let's say it's not an ellipse is it, but we'll assume that it is and in goes the text. Right click to zoom extents. So it's really quite an easy program to use. I'll zoom in here and show one of the last, one of the last features that is very important when you are drawing and doing a site plan. If we pick line, start our line down here, imagine we were drawing a boundary, we can simply move up in the direction we intend to go in and if that beige indicator is showing, you can see that's going to draw a line uh, 6077 millimeters long. I could type 6000 and hit the enter key. The line is precisely 6 meters long. I can head off at a 45 degree angle, 315 degree angle in fact, and I could type 3000 there and I've drawn a 3 meter line. So drawing accurately to size, this is a full size model, is quite easy to do. If you pick a library and plant selector you have lots and lots of symbols to choose from including uh, a swag of grasses and other symbols. Let's take that one there and we can put that in. The symbol goes in at a canopy diameter of a meter but it's a simple matter to pick and scale it down to indicate a plant with let's say a canopy diameter of four or five hundred millimeters. So the library and all its attendant symbols are all there to help general objects. There are profile views, section views, how to plant a tall tree and so on are all there ready to be inserted into the drawing. So that's a very quick look at Garden CAD. There are almost too many features to describe in one short video but that should give you an introduction to the program.